Hey, I'm Fernando Bautista, and for our week six discussion, we need to discuss various um, examples of different types of police, citizen, or citizen in the court encounters that could lead to both favorable and negative expressions of the court system and the criminal justice system in general. Um, I guess for a, um, a negative impression, um, I'll use an example that I was in um, a couple of years ago. I was heading to Fayetteville on 87 and I was pulled over by a highway patrolman. Um, the reason he pulled me over is because I was going over the posted speed limit. Um, I was going, uh, I want to say 70 and a 55, which you know, I shouldn't have been doing in the first place. But I was pulled over and, you know, just to begin with, the uh, highway patrolman, I guess he wasn't in the best of moods because he didn't say much to me. He just asked for my license, and then he made me roll my windows up. He checked how dark my windows were, and um, of course, they were under the legal limit. They were, I think it's they're like 15%, and I want to say the legal window tint here is 35%. So he goes back to his uh, patrol car, and when he comes back, he hands me you know, three citations. <laughs> he hits me with a speeding um, ticket, he hits me with a window tent ticket, and he hits me with a, um, he claimed hazardous tires. He claimed my tires were bald. And, uh, you know, in my head, I'm just thinking, you know, this jerk, you know, he's just wanting to fill his quota for the month, and, you know, he's just doing this to get money out of me, this and that. So, you know, eventually I get my court date and the court date comes and I'm still upset about it. You know, I got three tickets that I have to worry about and this and that. But eventually I had to end up paying, I think it was like 480 something dollars for the uh, window tent and the speeding ticket. I got the hazardous tire ticket dismissed. Because, you know, my tires were had decent treads still on them. But, you know, that, you know, not just only me, but other people, you know, they can view that as like a negative impression because they can feel like a police officer or whatever is just, you know, out there trying to get them. Which, you know, that's not the case. Um, I shouldn't have been speeding. I was in the wrong. And, of course, he just found other things that he could try to get me with. But I shouldn't have been doing, he was doing his job like he was supposed to. And, you know, at that point in time, it was a negative, uh, a negative impression. But, you know, looking back at it now, it was a, uh, he was just doing his job. Um, for a favorable, favorable impression that, you know, can be given is, I was watching a video on YouTube where this lady was at court because she had a couple of, uh, parking tickets that accumulated and she was going through a really tough time. She told her story that, uh, her son was recently killed um, she was evicted from her home. She was going through a lot of financial problems. And after the judge, after him hearing her story and hearing what was going on, you know, he was going to drop down all her, I think it was like a total of like 500 and something. He was going to drop it down to $50. And she explained to him, he asked her if she was going to have enough money after paying the citation. She would only have $5 after she would pay a $50 ticket. So, you know, after... You know, hearing all that, the judge dismissed all her cases in general, you know, and told her that, you know, good luck with everything that she was going through. And, uh, you know, ho hope she had a, you know, great time. So, you know, that's a, a very favorable impression because, you know, judges and police officers and um, people that work in the court system, people that work in the criminal justice system, at the end of the day, they are human beings and they do feel feelings towards you know other individuals so you know they're, they're not out there trying to get you they're not doing anything wrong you know they're just doing their job doing what they're supposed to do and you know that's why they're there to serve and protect the community to uphold the law you know to make sure things are going smoothly so i would say those are some you know a couple of examples that i would use that you know how some people may view um or get impressions of the court system or of the criminal justice system, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, they're all positive, um, 
positive and favorable expressions because you know they're out there you know doing their job you can't be mad at somebody for doing what they're supposed to do um if you don't want them you know giving you speeding tickets or you know you having to go to court then just don't do anything wrong just follow the laws and you'll be good to go you know you'll only be stopped or you know be given citations or tickets or having to go to court you know if you're doing something wrong you know that's honestly what it just boils down to so you know if, if you do what you're supposed to do you'll be fine <laughs>